Ooh, new Smash stuff is coming. Let's see it. Oh, great. Can't wait to deal with this stuff. All right, everyone, calm down. The situation is nowhere near as bad as you might think. In fact, it's really nothing to worry about at all. And if you're still asking about the reviews for Smash, I'll get to that later. But right now, I want to take care of this. First and foremost, I would actually like to say what I like about this. Yes, believe it or not, there are some things I like here. For example, it uses more of his classic design. Gold belly, bigger crown, a tail, and his older color. And they used his blue jewel from the newer design, and yeah, I kind of like the way it looks. So, what does this really mean? You know, having a costume of him instead of making him a playable character? Well, that's just it. Nowhere does it say, we aren't making a cruel fighter, just take this instead. It's something that a lot of fans assume. But it's just us making assumptions. And how many times does that turn out to be true? Ooh, there's Toon Link driving the train. He can't be in the game now. Ooh, there's a trophy of Mewtwo and Lucas. I guess they can't be DLC. Hey, I fell for a lot of that stuff too, okay? Although when it came to that Mewtwo trophy, I immediately felt like there was something off. And here's a Skype text I had with Brawlmaster012 back then to prove it. Although I admit that Kuril's Lazy Trophy was disappointing, but that's beside the point. The question I really want to ask is, when was the decision to make this costume? I honestly don't believe this was something they decided on a few short days ago. Though that would explain his recent trademark, but even then, why trademark him just to sell a costume? I don't think that's all they plan to do with him. Going back to that whole, when did they decide to do this, I have to imagine that this was planned from the very beginning of the DLC planning stage. I think they tried to come up with as many of them as they could, and then started developing them into sets so that they could be coming out every so often. The team plans all this stuff in advance, guys. The Smash updates had to be done at least... What, like a week or something in advance? But that's just a screenshot. This is something that needs more work than just a picture. Plus, look at all those extra costumes and how much they cost. This is pocket change with a paperclip and lint. So I have to imagine that this isn't nearly as hard to design as some of the other stuff. It takes effort, yes, but not a lot by comparison. The outfits don't necessarily mean they can't be playable. They were made for you to dress up your Miis with an outfit you might like. But those characters were already in the game! Yes, they were, but you know who else was? Link. But then why did they make a Link DLC costume if he's already a playable character? Like I said, it's just for people to dress up their Miis, and that's the bottom line. Until they say no more DLC, and Karul isn't a playable character, that's the only time to really give up. Because we still have the ballot. It's sad that a number of supporters have already given up hope, but that's really the only way he's going to lose. We don't know for sure just how many votes a character got yet, but there's no arguing that Karul is a popular choice and a fan favorite. That's probably why they said okay for this costume. I honestly think this was given the green light way before we got the ballot. What would be the point of the ballot if they didn't pick the highest voted characters? Because they are going to be looking at votes as sales. The higher the votes, the higher the sales. They also need to make sure that it'll sell to more than just those who voted for them by making them stand out in a number of aspects, such as movesets, personality, and how they play. Movesets should no longer be an issue, but hey, look at what the fans can do! Personally, I think it would be pretty cool if he used the blunderbuss as his grab as well, you know, as a vacuum, and then if he sucks in a bomb? That would just scream charm! Now, Sakurai and his team could come up with something else, but if it's easy for the fans, then the developer should have a field day with this stuff. He's already said that the new DLC characters would be made for fan favorites. I think they might have been aware of him back then of how popular he was. I also don't think it's going to be just one character if he says he's really going all out on DLC. Personally, I'm thinking we'll probably get maybe... four DLC characters from this, at the very least? Yes, I'm aware of the empty slots that were found in Mewtwo's patch, but that's the thing. Those didn't show up until the patch, so they might actually put in more. Who can really say? Is Kuril still likely even after all of this? Yes, but only if he still has the support that was there before this happened. So if you still want Kuril, it's not over yet. So don't give up hope until after they say it's done. Alright, now concerning those reviews. I'm sorry guys, but those have to be delayed. I thought I was going to be able to finish at least the first three games, but then something came up and I wasn't really able to work on those videos until, coincidentally, this happened. I kid you not. So when will they be done? <sighs> Honestly, I think I can get the review of the first three games by next week. And then the 3DS and Wii U? Not sure yet. Which means, yes, I will be working on more Smash videos as a way to make up for the delays, including the tournament. Show me a moves! I still need to know how the tournaments are going to work, but if you really want to be a part of it, 
then send me a replay video of your best match and a message on YouTube. When the tournament starts is undetermined, but I'll make a video for that in the future. So until then, I'll focus on the reviews, some of my best highlights for characters, and that trailer for the tournament. Week of Smash. <laughs> At this point, it's going to be more like a month of Smash. No, not every day of the month, but, you know. Oh, and my thoughts on the other costumes? I like them. To be fair, I didn't think they had as much of a chance of winning the ballot as Karul did, so I'm not too let down by this. Especially Lloyd. I would have liked to have gotten the music in the game, but hey, I'll take it.